Hey guys, it's Arcade and today I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make effects. So it could be like white noise, down filters, down sweeps and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you how you can create your own and edit them and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get started. We, we are going to be using the most basic plugin in FL Studio, which is three times oscillator. And this is how it looks. And you can use any plugin that has white noise, basically. So you could use Massive or Serum. But I figured everyone that has FL Studio has this plugin, so that's what we're gonna use. So open up the plugin and change all the waveforms to this one, which is like random or something. But it's basically white noise. And if you have the older version of Freaks Oscillator, in the previous FL Studios, this should work the same. Just find the proper way for me. It has like different logo there, different icon. But yeah, the rest is the same. So we just put uh, all the oscillators on this one and we have a white noise. And then go to these settings, which is envelope and uh, LFO right here. And we are going to be working with the LFO right now. So if you want to just create a simple white noise for a song, just like put it in the background, in the drop or something. That's what a lot of people do. Uh, when you, Once you change all these to the white noise, you just go to LFO here and change this one, the amount, and just put it all the way to the left. Uh, get rid of the attack because we don't want it to like fade in and change the speed right click the speed uh, choose set four steps and now we have this simple sign chained white noise that you can just use with a kick or something in the drop Just like in the background, it shouldn't be like the main sound or anything. But if you want your drop to have more energy, you can use this white noise. It works. Um, another thing you can do to shape it, you can uh, mess around with the filter knobs. If you want a different kind of sound, and you can also change the filter to high pass, for example. So yeah, that's like creating the simple white noise effect, which is really useful. I use it all the time and so does everyone. So you should know how to make your own. You can also use uh, ones from the sample packs but making our own is always fun. Uh, another thing you can do is just reset the amount knob, which will leave us with the basic white noise. And now we're gonna put some effects on it. So uh, put it on a new mixer track. It's on track five. And we're gonna put a lot of reverb on here. So choose fruity reverb. And make sure high damping and high cut are all the way up and change the decay, that's how long the reverb is going to last. So you can do like six seconds and change the reverb also to a very high amount. And now we're just gonna have a simple down sweep or impact sound. And again, you can shape it. That's like a simple crash. Um, and then if you want it to be shorter, just change the decay. Another thing you can do is make it longer. And we can create a up sweep or up filter uh, by automating few things. 
So just make a long note like this and select, hold control and select right here. So we have only the note selected and right click on the volume and create automation clip. And just put it from the low volume to high volume. And basically we will have uh, this up sweep. And the nice thing about this one is it goes up and then basically, because we have the reverb on there, it also goes down. So this is like before the drop and the drop comes in here, it would be really nice. Another thing you can do is add back the amount which will sign chain it basically. So it will sound like this. But the reverb is so overwhelming and it's, it doesn't side chain the reverb. So if you want it to work on the reverb as well, go back to mixer and add gross beat to your white noise uh, mixer track and change it to side chain and just edit the, these, just drag them out like this. And now it will side chain the reverb as well. Yeah, so that, that can be really useful. Another thing you can do is select the note again and automate some of the these parameters, the filter ones. So right click them, create automation clip, just move them up. And you have a nice effect. So that's how you make up filters or up sweeps. And down, down filters is the same same deal just like reverse the automations and you basically have a down filter so yeah it's pretty simple and you can just edit these parameters in different ways and create whole new uh, effects you can also add EQ and just edit that That will make a lot of uh, changes to the sound. So that's uh, working with the white noise. Let's now, sh I'm gonna show you how to make like impacts. So let's create a new pattern here and we can delete this. Uh, for impacts, I uh, usually just use a sample that I already have. So let's just choose a kick. Like this one, for example and you just put the kick there and let's go back to our mixer 5 just put it on number 5 and put it in the playlist okay this is not good let's delete the gross beat and the uh, EQ and again you just uh, choose a kick put reverb on it and it should create some sort of impact but uh, of course I have to disable the loop points and now we have a nice uh, bass impact and if you want you can also put the kick into the playlist just drag it there and reverse it double click it in the playlist hit reverse let me lower the lo volume a little bit and just drag it in here maybe cut the very end of it and now you have uh, like a transition effect so yeah that's pretty nice as well another thing you can do is if uh, you want an impact you can use a clap as well so let's just put this club in here and again just uh, have a lot of reverb on it and there you go some sort of impact and you can combine the two also so now we have a clap and the kick with the reverb 
on it and plus press play So yeah, that's how we create impacts. If you want different sound in the impact, you just replace the clap or the kick and you're gonna have a whole new effect sound. Another thing you can do, you can add delay. So go to the mixer track you have your sounds in and add delay. And let's just set the time, right click the time set to four, maybe less cut and volume. Uh, this means that it will not be as uh, loud once it repeats. So let's hear it. So the second one was still pretty loud, so change this volume as well. And if you put cut to maximum, it will repeat for longer. Also the volume, I'm pretty sure. Let me just put it to maximum, what what's gonna happen. So yeah, if you put it to maximum, it's basically gonna repeat at the same volume all the time. So that's another effect you can do. That's a nice impact. So yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. Some simple white noise stuff and how you can create the effects with white noise, how you can edit them and make them shape them the way you want and how you can create impact sounds with kicks or claps it's all pretty simple just like put reverb on it you can also you can also record it let me just do that as well uh, so disable the delay and just open Edison and change it to on play record now uh, press play press play on the playlist uh, stop the recording drag it into the playlist and now you have the impact right here and you can just reverse it and shorten it at the end and basically now you will end up with a uh, amp sweep So yeah, that's uh, really nice. So that's a good way to make your own effects. If you want, if you want, you can also just use effects from different sample packs. Nothing wrong with that. But if you prefer to make your own, this is how you can go about it. So hopefully this video was helpful, and I see you in the next one.